So you get your report sheet and it shows that you have a patient who is on a VVA ECMO. Now just looking at it like this, does this mean that we have a patient with two venous drainage sites and one arterial return? Or do we have one venous drainage site and then an arterial and venous return? If we look at it like this, we can't really tell the difference between the two configurations on which one it actually is set up like. And that's why ECMO nomenclature is so important. Now, back in 2019, the ELSO has actually um, adopted a universal nomenclature so that we can actually determine and differentiate between the different ECMO configurations. So the way that this works is on the left side here, we have our drainage cannula or cannulas. So we have a venous drainage site over on this side. The next thing is the middle symbol. So right here, just one line, one dash here, that, that represents the oxygenator. There is one oxygenator in this circuit. So we have the oxygenator, and then on the other side, we have our return cannula. So in this case, we have a venous and arterial return cannula. Now, if we have two dashes or an equal sign here, that means that we have two oxygenators and they are parallel as shown as in this diagram here. And then if we have a plus, that means that we have two oxygenators in a series, meaning one right after the other. And now the fourth thing that we can have is an X, and that means that there's no oxygenator and this is just pure uh, circulatory support. So this is why it is so important that we have a nomenclature that can help us differentiate and we don't have a very vague um, descriptor like this.